Hi, I'm Matt, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Emic Galaxy One. Using the included Allen wrenches in the box, we're going to open the five screws and uh, open the bottom of the printer. Now we did receive an early production uh, of this model, so some of the steps in the manual had been completed by the manufacturer already. Um, but here we have uh, the main board for our printer, um, along with our power supply, which is a actual Meanwell power supply, which is very nice to see. Um, and down here we have the laser module, uh, which will cure the resin. So a couple nice things about this machine is firstly, there is a heated chamber inside the printer. So if you're printing any sort of uh, resins that are in a cooler environment um, that may degrade, uh, it will keep it warm in here. Um, there is also a, uh, we have it wrapped up here, but a resin pump built into the machine. Um, which will automatically fill up your vat as soon as it starts to empty out. Um, the actual build volume is quite large, coming in at about uh, 200 by 400 by 400. So the machine also comes with an activated carbon filter as well as um, more specified filter ports, uh, so you can get proper ventilation of your materials during printing. The machine also has this side port here where you can put your resin and this connects it to the pump here. So the printer comes with a cap and you can just screw this on to any standard size resin bottle and it will fill it up. All right, so now we're going to turn on the machine. So we'll just flick the power button on the back and the machine will begin to boot up uh, from there we have our print control where you can find all of the uh, print files. By default the SD card comes with um, a bunch of video instructions along with uh, written instructions and a couple of uh, test prints. Um, but you can see uh, you can find or you can replace any of your files in here. Uh, after that, we have the parameter settings. So similar to some of the Creality machines on the market, this printer can store uh, resin settings for depending on what resin you're using, um, and you can change any of those. Um, you can also go off of uh, the uh, you can also go off the file settings. Um, after that, we have what's called machine regulation, but is really your settings tab. Um, and here you have, you know, laser tests, um, your z-axis up and down, the laser left and right, and a full reset of the machine. Um, and that's the basic controls for the machine. In terms of uh, connectivity for the machine, you have a USB port here if you prefer USB. It also comes with a full-size SD card. Um, the machine ships with a micro SD to full size adapter, which can then be slotted in the machine. And down here is this little button. Uh, if the machine is off and this button is pushed in, uh, once you turn the machine on, it'll go into flashing mode. Uh, and then you just have to turn the button off to go out of flashing mode. And now we'll show off uh, the prints that we've done. So here we have the test print that we did on this machine. This is an Imperial Star Destroyer. Uh, this was printed with our new Jam-G resin. Um, we printed this with a layer height of about 50 microns, which is pretty standard for resin. Um, and it was finished in about 27 hours, which is quite fast for something like this. Uh, I was very impressed. Um, the detail is phenomenal on the part. Um, and other than a few minor hiccups where we removed a couple parts with the supports, um, the print is amazing. And the size of the printer, it, we printed it uh, like this. So, I mean, fit, how many of those can you fit on a build plate and do all at once, right? Um, but I think 
For the size and price of this printer, it's unmatched in its spec. It's phenomenal value for your price and the print quality doesn't lie. Thank you for watching our review on the Emic Galaxy One. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed this printer and I think, I hope that you will too. Um, if you have any other questions about the printer, feel free to, to leave a comment or uh, reach out to us. Um, we're also looking for suggestions on other big prints to make. So if you have any ideas, please let us know. Um, other than that, Please like, comment, subscribe, all that, and uh, visit 3D Printing Canada for all your 3D printing needs. Thanks.